day everyone, welcome to another video from Sweeney's Creek Farm. Well, it's a pretty warm day here lined up and uh, I've got a few beehives that I need to have a little bit of a look at. I've got a few that I'm feeding at the moment. So uh, I'll show you the process I use for that and um, one of the little trays that I've got in a couple of the hives and just show you how I feed them. Uh, I've got a couple that I've got to put new lids on because they didn't have ventilation so uh, I've got some ventilated lids to go on. But, um, yeah, just uh, got my smoker going, just about to put my suit on and um, head on into the beehives and just see how a couple of them are going. Got my smoker going here, so I'm just uh, giving a bit of a pump, get some nice smoke going. Uh, very important when you're doing your beehives, the smoke can actually just keep the bees a little bit calmer and under control. You can use it to make them move in different directions. Some other key equipment I'm going to take with me today. Um, I'm going to be putting some new clips onto some of the boxes because uh, they haven't got them. I've got a couple of hive tools here. This is the Australian version here, uh, which is flat and has a, a sort of a hinge at the bottom that we use to pick up the frames with. Uh, this is the American style. Um, I just have this one with me just in case I need to do any extra scraping or sometimes you can use two-handed to have a hive tool in both. Um, sometimes this one's handy just to sort of get underneath the lip of some of the frames. Always have a pair of pliers with me, you never know. And uh, yeah, and uh, always take a um, tub with me. Uh, and in there I put any uh, burr comb that I collect. Um, that wax can then be melted down and used as well. And I always also take a notepad with me uh, with a pen and I use that for just taking notes um, on each of the hives, just lets me uh, keep track of um, what's going on in each one. Um, very hard to remember exactly what happens when you've got 14 hives. Um, but uh, yeah, that just helps you keep a bit of a track and see what's going on. Well, here we are, all suited up and ready to go. Um, the beehives have definitely uh, grown a bit here on Sweeney's Creek. Uh, we're now up to 14, um, which is just a nice number. Um, Lots of different types of uh, hives, uh, some that we bought uh, second hand from a, an ex beekeeper, some swarms that I've collected, some cutouts. Um, we're just trying a few different things, it's all part of the learning process. Um, I've been at this about since uh, August and um, having a really good mentor, uh, Julianne's dad, teaching me a lot. Um, but yeah, they're, uh, they're a fascinating creature. I'll just show you this setup we've got along here now. Uh, so that's a, a swarm, um, this was a hive that we cut out out of the shed. This is the first one I'm going to start with. This is the, the Telstra pit um, bees and uh, the rest of them are up there. And then we have a couple of beehives over in the other area there that I'll take you to. Um, that's going to be, we're actually going to relocate all of these hives up onto the other side of the property there, uh, give them a bit of shade in the summer. Um, but this hive here is the first one that I want to have a look at. Uh, this was the Telstra Pit uh, collection, um, which has been a very successful video. I'm really pleased to see people that have come on and really enjoyed that. Um, you might notice this one's got a black strip uh, in the middle. And uh, one of the things I want to do today is uh, load that up. This is a feeding tray. Uh, this is made by Ecrotech, um, a fantastic company. Um, we get our Ecrotech supplies from the local elders store, uh, our good friend Josh down there. Shout out to Josh, uh, always a friendly um, salesman there, he greets us at the door and is always happy to see us come in uh, and it's a great place to go shop at. Uh, yeah, so I'll just take the lid off. So basically what this is, is uh, it's a reservoir for um, sugar syrup uh, and these uh, plastic can uh, covers here cover up a hole that leads down into the beehive and you can see that there's some perforations down the bottom there uh, a little bit of uh, sugary syrup that's sort of uh, evaporated down there at the moment so you basically load this up with nine liters of sugar syrup the ratio is one to one so a kilo of sugar for one liter of water and that gives them a nectar substitute and it actually promotes then helps them with their wax growth I put this on the Telstra pit because we opened them up the other day and they were a bit, uh, they were just a bit blah is probably the word I can say. They were just struggling a bit. Um, there wasn't the, the level of activity we like to see. So I've given them a, a few litres of sugar. I'm going to give them another one today. And um, the difference in them, the activity at the front has been amazing. So 
Um, just about to take this one off and have a little bit of a look at how they're going underneath. And um, as you can see, that's where they can climb up into there and then safely get a big stomach full of nectar or sugar syrup and then uh, come back into the hive. This is one of the new frames that we put in. Oh, that's heavy. And that was, uh, that was all new wax that they've laid down there. That's really good. Take into that. They're, um, they're building that out absolutely beautifully. They're really enjoying that one. That's good to see. I'm also looking down the bottom of the box. I can't see any uh, hive beetle or uh, anything that would indicate something nasty like uh, chalk brood. It's all looking really clean in there. They're doing a great job keeping their hive clean. That also was a brand new frame. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, they're building that out as well. A uh, little bit of capped honey up the top here. And just that addition of sugar syrup, it's just like a little booster, just to help them along. These guys were really struggling. I think it might have just been a bit of colony shock from the move. Oh, this one's nice and heavy. Uh, so that's one of the old combs that came from their original hive. And they're making use, they're actually starting to cap that with honey now. But that's looking really good. Bit of pollen in there as well. Not many drones, which is good to see. And that's what I want to see. So there I've got some, some cap brood. So Queen's been laying eggs. See a few grubs in there. Not seeing any queen cells being made, which is always good. I am wondering if the um, swarm that I collected, ah, that's more like it. There's some brood there. Yeah, I'm just starting, oh, there's the queen. There she is, just near my finger right there. And you can see that she's quite a big girl. Coming around the other side now. Always exciting when you see the queen. Oh, that's good. There's actually good brood in there and a bit of honey as well. Hopefully you got that on the camera. Oh, a bit of weight in that too, that's good. Some brood there, seeing some, oh, and lots of, lots of that uh, nectar going down as well, which is great. Uh, just going to get, there's a little bit of burr comb on the side here. Just going to take that off. So bees will <laughs> lay wax down in lots of places and the best thing you can do is just keep that nice and clean. Yeah, they're not doing too bad. Uh, they definitely had a bit of a lift, but um, from the number of bees that they started with, I would have expected them to be a little bit more uh, in construction mode than what I'm seeing there at the moment, but still not too bad. Uh, and so I'm going to pull these out and give them some uh, some more wax frames to build on. Uh, but I'll just leave it for the moment. But what they do need is that back on top. And we'll give them some, some sugar syrup. So I mix this up in the kitchen and then just transfer it to these uh, milk containers. It just makes it a bit easier for transport up to the hives. As you can see, it all flows into the uh, into the reservoir, and I'm already starting to see some bees coming up. Uh, so they'll come up through the hole, then down the side to the uh, level of the water or the syrup. 
It just gives them a carbohydrate boost. It's very dry here at the moment. There's not many plants in flower. This is just a little bit of a helping hand. So that was a that looks good in there. I was really happy with how they're going along there. As I said they're still struggling a little bit. Um, it's quite often a shock to the colony when they're they're cut out of their home and put into a new spot. Um, and as I said it's very dry here at the moment. Uh, not a lot of flowers and nectar flow at the moment. Uh, so that sugar syrup just gives them a little bit of a, a bit of a kick along. Anyway, I'm going to have a look at this um, other cutout that I did from the shed and uh, see how these guys are going. Mm -hmm.